Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Space Group Blind. We have just destroyed the uh, attacking Phasmid force that was trying to go to Athena Station. And we also destroyed a uh, mothership. And now we have to harvest antimatter. Our scientists have developed an antimatter bomb that can destroy the Phasmid homeworld in one fell swoop. The rub is that this new weapon requires antimatter harvested from a pulsar in the Gamma Quadrant. Get in and out before the radiation overcomes your crew. Oh, interesting. Kind of makes me think that we would need uh, radiation equipment for the crew. But nah. What I am going to do maybe is change some of the weapons. The auto cannon and particle beam. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Uh, Railgun is pretty good. Right, that's 145. Hmm. You know what? Instead of the particle beam, strong against holes. Let's do this. Missile launcher. Yeah, I like that. I like missile launchers. And I'll keep the uh, railgun here. It would be nice if it was a railgun plus missile launcher, but of course, kind of defeats the purpose because it's both weapons. And Alrighty, um, yeah. I'm not going to give my crew radiation equipment because, I don't know. I mean, they don't exactly need... Let's see, there's a radi maximum radiation. High resistance to radiation or uh, equipment set balance for increased movement and repair speed. Oh, this is a repair speed. Okay. It would have to be this, but of course the problem is it also gives them. Oh, it does give them the uh, boots. Let's see. Hard gravity boots, Mark 1. No, it gives them these ones. Gravity boots. Which would be kind of a shame. I would have to do it uh, manually. Yeah. See, these are the... I wish I could change this loadout here. Um, You know what? We're just gonna do it like this. We don't care about radiation. We're men. Alright. Begin mission. If we grow a third limb, that's fine. We can take it. We can take it just fine. Yeah. Alright, off you go, off you go, and launch! Oh, and it looks pink here in this uh, color now, because it's grey. Our scientists have developed a terrible weapon capable of destroying the entire Phasmid homeworld. However, we require antimatter in order to complete its construction. That's what we're gonna do. Engage. You can harvest some from the pulsar in the gamma quadrant using this probe. Oh, there's a there's a station here. Hello. A UDF aid station. That's cool. There is a UDF medical aid station in your current sector. Land to refill your medical bay and heal your crew. Well, we're not really interested in that right now because what a stupid position as well. That's like that wormhole generator that was one jump away from home. Which was useless. And this aid station, which is now one jump away from home. We, we have no fights here. Which means that we don't need any aid. Ouch. And uh, when we come back, we'll have to fight stuff anyway before we jump back home. And then we won't need aid from them again. <laughs> uh, well. Charge. Central binary star system. Engage. But what if the Phasmid just wants, I don't know, to be friends or something? By shooting us. Maybe that's their way of showing affection. I don't know. We can't know for sure. Darn it, this paint job now makes the ship look slightly off pink. Alright, here they are already. That was quick. And there is... No, I want that one. There's also a border, but I want them to get the... Uh, the drone one first. There we go. Come on. Did they already dest destroy it? No, they didn't yet. 
Let's also have some fighter support and now go for the borders. Beta 5 ready for action. Delta 2 reporting in. Sigma 6 ready for action. Power! Get the borders. There's missiles. We'll get the heck we there. There we go. The borders are gone as well. Get him! Ouch. What is she getting? <laughs> Gravity generator again. They really think that's gonna make things worse for us, but we don't need no gravity. They actually did hack it, but we don't care. There's those limpets in the distance. Nice. Look at all those missiles go. And missing. Come on, it's a huge ship. Get him. There's one. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, those limpets found us. Darn it. Look at those missiles go. There's so many salvos. Boom. Okay. That was lovely. And there's more coming. Get him. Oh, already gone. Lovely, jubbly. And there is a border there, and there's more of them coming. And more borders as well. So how about you use focus fire, boost back of power, focus fire, boost back of power, focus fire, boost back of power, and of course focus fire, boost back of power. And that border is gone, so we don't have to worry about that now. Excellent! Oh, they're dropping light flies. Changing weapons, salvo's going. Boom, boom, boom. Look at all those salvos go. Ready to charge. We don't care right now. There's one more. <laughs> so many missiles. And they're all missing. Yeah, see, that's the problem with missiles. They have huge DPS. They're very good at hitting sometimes, but a lot of the times, even when the enemies are in clear line of sight and going towards us, they just seem to just miss. And now that guy has shields again. Everyone's uh, switched over to plasma. And there we go. He's out of shield, so they change over to missiles. See that? Miss, miss. Well, some of them hit now. Excellent. And before we do that, we want to uh, repair the reactor. Repair that. And then uh, just heal up a smidge. <laughs> The reason I repair this, like I said before, is so I don't have that big uh, repair icon on all the time, which makes me think in the midst of battle, oh no, something else is broken. I mean, it's already bad enough that we get the whole non not powered warning uh, sign. Okay, gamma quadrant major cloud warning increased enemy activity to objective. Off we go. Lovely. Love these engines, the Agile ones. So, so good. Don't really know if it's any other really good strategy to go for a part. I mean, I wonder how it would be with, without going for evasiveness, by going for just full firepower. I don't think it would be as nice as this. I really have a feeling it wouldn't be. Okay, defensive now. Alright, let's, let's just focus on one at the moment. Because these heavy fighters are really quite annoying. Look at that. Okay, missiles. Boom, boom. Nice. The cool thing about missiles, as I've said many times before though, is that even if they do miss, hopefully they can change over to a new enemy. And that, that one's gone. Excellent. That one's about to... Uh, have all its drones go, but it's about to be destroyed as well. Just a little bit more. Come on. And there it goes, I believe. That was the big boom. Let's get the hacker as well. Even though these guys are right next to us. We are in defensive, right? Yes, we are. Excellent. Just those salvos going crazy. Where are those missiles? See, they go for uh, the gunship now, and they all miss. <laughs> 
That's fine. They serve their per purpose. Destroying that uh, hacker. Get him. And now change over to missiles. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> These guys are quite tough, though. I do have to say, it took a full salvo of missiles and was heavily damaged, but did not go down. That one is almost... Well, it's not smoking yet, but... There's a hacker as well. The... Uh, focus fire thing is really nice and I'm not talking about the skill I'm talking about being able to select uh, priority targets it's really nice okay now switch over to missiles missiles please there we go oh, oh, oh. <laughs> two salvas going for more of them coming oh I think I feel aftershocks uh, from that earthquake in the last episode. What are you? Are you? Are you pushing that crystal away? Is that it? Or did you just lose all the shields because we bumped into it? I wasn't really paying attention because I was trying to look at my other other monitor, which is on a much flimsier stand, and uh, I was trying to see if it was uh, moving or that was just me thinking my chair was wobbling. That's something I really hate, you know. Uh, this second monitor I have was a 24-inch widescreen that I bought many years ago because I upgraded from the 22-inch one, I believe. Um, and, you know, it's a bigger monitor and it was on a flimsier stand. My 22-inch from Samsung, well, they're, they're both from Samsung, uh, but the 22-inch was on a really nice strong stand and this 24 one is on such a wobbly tiny teeny stand it's ridiculous i hate how they do that you know it's like oh we're gonna make it look all sleek and nice and la 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 blah, blah 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 but it's just a it's just ridiculous how as soon as you i don't know tap on the table and it goes blah, 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 blah. fortunately my uh this current primary monitor is a lot sturdier it's a bit bigger as well but you know I just find that ridiculous. <clears throat> I hate how it's not possible to select. I want function over form, damn it. I don't care about how it looks. I mean, I don't necessarily want a pick style of a monitor look like, but jeez. Oh, wow, that's cool. Look at the pulsar. Wait, oh, that's not that's not the final destination yet. Oh, that's so cool. Yep, they, they pretty much did that right, according to scientific... Well, I don't know about the... Vortex? Probably. But that that's cool. And we're going even closer. Oh, that's gonna be really cool. But yeah, that's one of my pet peeves with monitors. It's like, can you please, please stop making them look cool where they just wobble and, and it's all ridiculous? Just make it functional first. And I see that stuff in a lot of things. You know, consumer items, cars... Uh, everything. It's like form. It's like form over function. I don't care. I, yes, I, I like things to look nice as well. But when it gets ridiculous like this, when you have a big ass monitor on a tiny little stick of a stand, just because it looks cool, and of course, you know, they they have to drench everything in the shiny black plastics, which are just horrendous to keep clean. You know that yourself. I mean. If you have any such peripherals and at home, you you know very well that uh, piano black plastics are the worst. It's another drone ship. Let's focus on that. Yeah, I, I honestly do not understand this obsession with uh, piano black plastics in in the manufacturing world, um, because the only time they look good is when they are completely new just of the production line and under a spotlight of a I don't know uh, of a photo studio and then immediately after that 3.8 seconds after that they get all dusty fingerprinty disgusting and you have to clean them every day with microcloths and oh it's just what a what a ridiculous thing and everyone's doing it they're just plastering everything in piano black plastics. It's just 
No! Give me some man. Wow, that guy actually didn't. I didn't spot that border. He was about to board us. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, just give me some matte color or I don't know, something nice. I don't mind if it's plastics. I know plastics keep the weight down, keep the costs down. I don't mind if it's plastic as long as it's sturdy. And as long as it doesn't get dirty as shit immediately. Sorry about that, but it really pisses me off. Don't give me piano black. I mean, this this older monitor, the one in the wobbly stand, everything, everything that I look at is piano black plastics. The the stand on the bottom, then the, the tiny stick, then the bezel, everything is shiny. It's like... Wait a second, why are you guys even doing that? I mean, monitor is really nice, but did you guys not realize that monitors, usually you don't want any glare next to them? <sighs> anyway, ranty, ranty, rant, rant. Urgh. Okay, Pulsar, here we go! Quick, release the probe and harvest the antimatter before the radiation overcomes you. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's actually uh, quite a lot of radiation. Indeed. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of radiation. Fortunately, no enemies here. And it's also a good thing that we didn't actually get... Uh... Nice work, the probe will do the rest. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't bring... Uh... We didn't bring uh, radiation equipment. Now make your way back to Athena. It's time to end this. Because we didn't really need it. I mean, that was so quick. There you go. Beacon transmission. Oh no, not again. Okay, I'm gonna do inspirational speech just so everyone heals up a little bit. And in the meantime, so the noob is gonna heal. Well, actually, let, let's see. I, I'm not gonna do it just yet. But I'm gonna do auto hack on this because I suck. And let's see if the auto hack actually works every time or if it's a chance. Well, we won't know. If it's successful, we won't really know. It's probably an attempt. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try the first one myself. And then we're gonna do auto hack. Come on. We got 48 seconds, 47. Okay, so it is this one, and then is this one, and then it's the one with the V. This one. And then it's like that. <laughs> It's two dots, this one, and then it's this in the middle. Shoot. What is it? Oh, it's okay, it's like that. And then it's two dots up here. Uh shoot, which one is it? Ah Just give me auto hack. I don't know what the heck that is in the middle. Come on. <sighs> I love the fact that you cannot do auto hack in the meantime. It's calling in reinforcements. Yes, I know. Don't care. We're going. Bye. Don't care about you guys. Bye. We're off. Ow, 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 oh, good. No, we're, we're off. Bye. <laughs> oh, um, they're coming with us? <laughs> they're coming with us. Oh, no. Get them. Everyone get them. That's hilarious. They came with us. Oh, our guys are not uh, taking any any damage. What? Well, okay. They knew we going to repair that. Turn to saved. No, nope, no, nope, come back because it's on fire now. Okay, off you go. Actually, put it there, and of course we've got more enemies coming. Turn to save. 
Jeez. Defensive, please. And uh, how many more jumps? I think it's like two or something. <clears throat> Let's do some fighter support. Those are borders. Beta 5, ready for action. Beta 4, ready for action. Gamma 7, reporting in. Come on, missiles, do your thing. Do your thing. Our armor is all good still. There's a bit of a scuff mark here. Oh, wow, the scuff marks are quite difficult to see. Well, no. Some are lighter, some are quite visible. These guys are missing a lot as well. Come on. <clears throat> Actually, now that I think about it, while you're hacking, I could slow down time. Uh, slow down time, maybe, but I'm not really sure if that's possible. Look at that! Bang! 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 bang. Missiles, please. There you go. Missiles, more missiles, more missiles. Come on. We don't have all day. We're going to base. All those missiles missing. That's not very good. Returning to base. It's kind of a shame that these guys don't also try to attack the fighters. That would be pretty nice. Returning to base. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Next demon is a little bit uh, hurt. That's okay. He can heal up. And the inspirational speech seemed to have uh, healed everyone nicely from the radiation damage. Central binary system. Increased enemy activity as per usual. There he goes. The uh, reactor is slightly damaged. Where is it? Get that uh, limpet guy. Oh wow, already lost. Oh. <laughs> okay, they suffice to say they cannot take a lot of punishment. Holy moly. Something else. Hacker as well. Boom! Lovely. 74% evasion. Man, it's really nice. Hello. I'm assuming you're gonna go for a gravity generator. That's per usual. Another hacker here. Well, let's go for that hacker. Should I select it? Yeah. It's very nice to have an escort here. Oh, no, he's actually hacking our shields this time, or tried to anyway. Didn't really do it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Did you see all that armor over there? Wow. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I think in the next area we'll just use our focus fire and everything else. Unless this one is the last one. I don't think it is. Uh, yeah, we have one more. Wow, look at that one. Boom! He's being hit by the uh, railgun. Ah. What a shield's back interesting. Oh, there's more coming. Brilliant. We've got these heavy fighters. I really hate these. They're tough, and they're very, very dangerous. Missile! Oh, there's more coming. Missiles! Alright, fine, we'll use it now. Focus fire, back up. Focus fire, boost back up power. Focus fire, boost back up power. Focus fire, boost back up power. 156 effectiveness. And maybe if I got... Solosphere there, they well, they don't, they wouldn't have the skill to boost weapons. Oh no, that's in the engineering thing. Oh wow, we are nihil- what's going on? Why are they not shooting that one? There we go. Oh yeah, because the missiles have a pretty long cooldown. Wow! 
annihilated. Let's just go over here. I mean, there's only two of them left. So we can start charging. Nope. We'll, we'll start charging when we destroy them. Did he bump into us? Okay, last one. Lovely. Charging for hyper jump. Now there's the aid station here as well, which we don't need. Whoosh. Alright, to base. Athena station. Oh, and there is a... Uh, <laughs> unstable wormhole drive. Why? Why here? We're... <laughs> We're one jump away from home. Why Why do they put it there? I don't understand it. Also, where's the... I thought the aid station was here. What? Yeah, wh why did they put it right at the last part? There's no point. You just go home. I don't really understand it. Well, let's uh, charge. Get out of there. I mean, at this point, we don't really care about the XP or money anymore because, well, we've got everything of the best that we can afford. Now, I mean, that we can afford. That is available. We can afford all of it. So, just the paint job a little bit. Nothing else. <clears throat> lovely. Lovely, lovely. All right. I do believe we have the last mission after this one. Maybe. I don't know. There we go. Everyone turned. Everyone good. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.